the rule of St. Benedict says of the cellarer, and the cellarer is the monk who takes care of the material goods of the monastery, he will regard all utensils and goods of the monastery as sacred vessels of the altar, aware that nothing is to be neglected. This verse is often quoted as the hallmark in the rule of uh, environmental concerns, sustainability. Of course, there was no environmental movement per se 1,500 years ago in St. Benedict's time, and yet monks were known for their conscious reverence for the environment, for all material things, and most especially for people who are made in the image of God and reflect Christ. In the next chapter, chapter 32 of the rule, St. Benedict says, whoever fails to keep the things belonging to the monastery clean or treats them carelessly should be reproved. So there is a discipline involved in caring for the environment. We live in a world where resources are very limited, and despite the increase in environmental con consciousness, there is still much waste of natural resources, and even more significantly of human resources. In many ways, the world is dominated by greed, manipulation, and self-gratification. In contrast, the holy rule, which was countercultural and remains countercultural, says that all material creation is a gift from God, all people are made in the image of God, and so we are to treat everything with care and respect. We are to show reverence to every person as we would reverence Christ himself. Thus, we are to walk in the presence of God, to treat everything as a gift from God. Then our lives become an acceptable sacrifice to God, something beautiful, overflowing with God's love, and being conformed to Christ in his own sacrificial love.